All right, so in the last video, we talked about inserting and modifying basic visuals. We added our nice little uh, bar chart here, talked about some features like color saturation and tooltips. But the thing is, Power BI has changed quite a bit since the course was originally recorded. Uh, we still have all the same functionality. It's just that some of these tools live in different places now. And I added an overlay to the last video to help people uh, find these new features, specifically color saturation. Uh, but I still get a lot of questions about it, and I've realized that it's really hard to find those options. So what I want to do is just put together this very quick video, and we're going to rebuild that same chart using the current version of Power BI. So I'm in the, uh, you'll see the light mode here, I'm in the 2020 uh, January release. I'm going to insert a bar chart here, grab subcategory name, drop it on axis. I'm going to look for my orders, drop that on values. And there we go, we've got kind of our basic version of the bar chart. And now here's how we get to the color saturation option. Remember originally it existed right here on the main fields pane. Now we have to navigate to format, which is the second pane here, drill into the data colors well, and you won't see any obvious color saturation or conditional formatting options right here. What you have to do is hover the cursor over the default color line until you see this ellipsis, the three dots, click that, and there are the conditional formatting options. Don't ask me, I don't know why they buried this feature like that, especially given how popular and powerful conditional formatting is, but that's where you'll find it now that you know um, you should be able to get there quite easily. So this menu should look pretty familiar. Let's go ahead and just drop a very light pale blue on our lowest value. We'll keep our highest value with this darker teal. And check this out. We can update uh, which field we're actually formatting based on. So in this case, to match our demo, we wanted to do a color saturation format on total revenue. There we go. Press OK. And boom, we've replicated our original chart. Now, the only other catch was that we had the tooltips option in the fields list, which you'll still see here. When we dropped our revenue field into color saturation in the last demo, it automatically added revenue into our tooltips. Now in the new version of Power BI, we need to manually make that change. So let's go ahead and grab the revenue field, drop it into tooltips, and there we go. We see it listed in the third line of our tooltips. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Color saturation in the current versions of Power BI.